Hello and welcome to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep exploring. Hey now. Sharing is caring. Pencils are stage manager only, aka stuff. To internet or not to internet. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. I already read through Why that. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? The Tempest. Rachel Amber Prime Prospera. A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams, a streetcar named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team boosters, fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. Ethan Prescott playing Caliban. A favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay, Nathan hopes his performance of The Tempest will only further his legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore, who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with many friends. Dana Ward, playing Miranda. A sophomore, Dana has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Dana enjoys football, go for Bigfoots, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of this Vortex Club when she's a senior. Hayden Jones, playing Ferdinand. This show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He auditioned on the dare, and as it turns out, actually really did exacting. A sophomore, his other interests include playing sports, herbals, and taking long walks in the woods. Juliet Watson, playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests include journalism and social activism, but she's very excited to be debuting in the spring in the role of Ariel, the capricious and powerful spirit Prospera has enchanted and bound to her. Do her magical bidding. Travis Keaton, directing, a veteran of Broadway, Travis Wilbury Keaton serves as the prestigious Blackwell Academies as a teacher, dramatic arts mentor, and friend. He hopes this humble reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never forget his motto, Ars Gratia Artis. I don't know what that means. Stage manager, Steph. Tech crew, and then it gives everyone. Oh, Stella's on it. Look at that. Uh, sound design is Brooke. Makes sense. Alright. Cool, cool. We'll go ahead and That's make. the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. It is very nice. Rachel looks so happy here. No. Oh well. There's Rachel's belt. Guess go. I'll go give this to Rachel now. What to look at though? I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the the Tempest. Should be life is drama. <laughs> Sweet collar, Pepe. Right? Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Graffiti it? What are you gonna do? Uh, horns on Nathan. The poor wild animals thing. Just keeping it real. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Definitely an improvement. There's a note. Oh, sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. You know, you are very beautiful. Do you wanna go? I wanna be into that. Logan. Guess who, Logan? Guess who? <laughs> Love it. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll just bring it to her. I 
I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. Great. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Uh, no way. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. Heck yeah. Let's go. Dude, I didn't expect, I don't know, I expected her to follow the rules and stuff, but I guess it makes sense that she doesn't, considering she was at the mill for that concert, you know? You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Oh, this is great. Well, what the hell am I getting into here? know where they're going pull up a chair price the view's amazing oh hey why weren't you and chem everything okay yep that happened with drew people are saying you were awesome yo let's talk later okay all right. I'll go ahead Rachel and. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. No idea. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. <laughs> There's my chair. All right. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Just another typical day skipping school with Rachel Amber. What happens if we try to walk off? We can't. Okay. <laughs> I had to try chair. and see. Wait, is there anything in the corner over here? Because it feels like there will be. Ah, a graffiti spot. I see humans, but um, no humanity. Something to look. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Yeah, no kidding. We can graffiti it. Do it. Uh, this one. Everybody lies. I like that. I like how we're just making her wait. <laughs> okay. 
let's go ahead and oh we can get something on Rachel here how do you describe Rachel Amber I've been trying to find the right words since we met the crazy thing about Rachel is I really should hate her guts. I mean, she's a shitty student, loved by everyone at school, including students and teachers. She's super into acting, I hear she even does modeling on the side, which I imagine her district attorney dad and Stepford housewife mom support her in. It all sounds like a recipe for awfulness. And yet, Rachel is somehow nothing like the privileged golden child type you'd expect. She's not like any type, actually. She's probably the most surprising person I've ever met. And that's not because when we met, she was helping me take down some skeevy a-holes at a rock show. But it's just this feeling she gives off. Like, when, it's here, when you're with her, anything is possible. Ugh, nothing really... Oh, it sounds like... Ugh, I'm struggling with the sentence, sorry. It really sounds like I have a crush on her, doesn't it? Here's hoping she reveals something really horrible about her soon. Like a stamp collection or a love for cat memes. Something to make her a little less indescribably awesome Ooh, next page never told you about Nathan Prescott aka spoiled baby anyway you should you know that old question about if you could go back in time and assassinate Hitler well I worry I just stopped the assassination when I got between Nathan and an A beating by Drew football jock and all around angry teenager maybe I'm getting soft in my old age Spoke to Elliot too. He was super nice as always. He wanted to hang out as always. I was non-committal, as always. Okay. Poor guy. He's super persistent. It must be hard trying to care about me. Speaking of caring, I actually played a game with Steph and Mikey this morning. It wasn't terrible, but I'm not sure which. I have the energy to consistently care that much about anything. I should be concerned about how little like. But <laughs> how little I care these days. But that would mean caring, wouldn't it? Chloe, catch 22. Max, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, when is she finally going to talk about Rachel Amber? Fine, you nosy girl. Here it is. Rachel Amber is the most popular girl at school, and she's super into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Like this morning, when she pulled me into the drama lab and asked for my expert opinion about true love in front of the whole class. I told her it's BS, of course. Mr. Keaton, the drama teacher, actually seemed to agree with me. Then Rachel brought me into her dressing room. Gotta say, that's the quickest I've gone from meeting someone to helping them get dressed. That's Rachel. She doesn't care. She just lets it all hang out. Then Rachel hatched this crazy plan for us to skip school together that involves jumping into a train. You know, like kids ditch school in the 60s. The 1860s. Stay tuned, Max. I have a feeling there'll be a lot more to tell you soon. Chloe, the love doctor. That's great. Alright, let's sit down. All right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Uh, we'll just say, uh, uh. <laughs> So, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that... Why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. Hey, but where it. are we going? That's it. Oh. Good to fucking go. 
Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <sighs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Wait. Let's do Isn't something it? fun. Didn't Max basically wear that outfit of hers? Okay. I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is okay, which. It's a classic game. How does Chloe not know this? We'll go along with it. Sounds fun. You're on. Sticking their legs out would worry me that like something would come by and just like flop their legs First, right off. <laughs> I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu. Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. <laughs> What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. Still Leo. <laughs> so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? Uh, the ambidextrous. I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Start with the truth. Let's see here. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. <laughs> then we'll do a lie. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. Or where? Another truth. I love science. Seriously. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway. Oh, that's how she I starts saying that. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said. Arr. So is she gonna okay. get it? You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. 
You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Paul says she knows. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. She know. How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. Uh. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... Six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. That's cute. Kind of ship them. So, em. if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. <laughs> Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. I approve of her taste. It's not a big deal. Rum is great. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Uh, I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Well, that's the awkward silence. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Oh, you're gonna drop your phone, aren't you? Hey, wanna listen? I love these, these like montages that they do in the, in Life is Strange. Yeah, a lot in the first game where they have the music so running and stuff. I don't know, I just love the vibes of it. Cause it's like, I don't know. It's good vibes. <laughs> I don't know. To some degree, it just reminds me of like when I was in school, riding the bus home, having my little MP3 player I had listening to music, you know? It's good. So I, I didn't have like anything proper, like an iPod or anything. I had this like little, I think it was called like a clip zip or something. It was a little MP3 player that I had some music on and I listened to a mixture of the radio because it actually had really good radio connection and just a couple of songs I, to be honest, pirated. But I mean, that was what. I was young, I didn't have money to actually buy songs. Some of them I didn't though. Some of them I took off CDs that I had. But I also just love the indie vibes of all the music in Life is Strange. Because it's just like, the same. It's the kind of music I like, you know? Even like the harder rock that they're having in this game so far I've been really liking which has been surprising. It's just very much something I would listen to on my own, so, yeah. Just 
enjoy myself here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Alright, we should go ahead and... Ooh, this is a good part in the song. Don't mind me getting distracted. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, this is a long episode. But I didn't want to end it. And I'm just gonna finish my recording session when this is done, so I'm waiting for it to save, you know? Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! It's here? What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Okay, do it, do Fuck it. it. Love it. All right, so we're going to be ending this episode here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my decisions and everything. Um, yeah, bit of a longer episode, but I hope you guys enjoy anyway. Uh, yeah, and if you did enjoy, make sure you like this video, subscribe to me here on YouTube, and go follow me over on Twitch. I stream there four days a week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.